This, this message is for EA. 100% for them, not for anybody else but EA. Actually, no, there's a little bit for you guys. Go to their Facebook page and tell them what you feel about them. Okay? Tell them how you feel about the game. Tell them how you feel about the changes. Tell them what you want to change. That is what I have to say for you guys. As for EA, this is bullshit. Okay? And I know that I've said it time and time again that you guys are screwing this game up, but I'm telling you guys it is getting to the point of ridiculous. You have allowed hackers to dominate the leaderboards when technical difficulties happen within the game. You don't even alert your, your customers. We had an issue this weekend, this past week, where nobody could travel to their group members' cities without going through their friends list. Not one announcement from you guys. Not one. Within two minutes of it happening, I had a video up telling people that it was an in-game issue. You guys never put anything up. That is bad customer service. That's just bad business move altogether. Like, in general, you guys are doing real poor at the business side of things. I don't know who you have running things up there, <laughs> but they're failing miserably, okay? Positive changes to the game would be keeping people intrigued with the game, not making them annoyed to the point where you think they're going to pay you more money because that, that little stunt that you guys are trying to pull, it's backfiring on you miserably. My guide has allowed people to look like hackers when they play legitimately. My guide has allowed people to buy an enormous amount of stuff within one to two years on the guide to the point where they have no use for the game afterwards because they're doing so well. Now, unless you guys start adding more content, you guys are going to start losing a lot of players, okay? I actually like the game. I've actually played the game for eight years, but you guys have absolutely destroyed it the past two years. I don't know what you're doing with the contest of mayors, but I'm telling you guys, when people win and win and win, they don't have incentive to play when they've already bought in everything. Think about it like this. We're not all Smith. We're not all sitting here with two platinum keys bankrupt. Some of us have 9,000 platinum keys, 40,000 Sims cash, and our, our maps are stacked because they follow my building guide. They have nothing to work for now because you're not putting out new content. All you're putting out is mayor's passes and ads and, and ways for you guys to get more money, not ways for people to entertain themselves, right? So for example, you guys recently added a transportation building as a four-pointer. I had suggested that about a week or two prior to you doing it. Now, notice how that was the one time that people had a positive feedback for you guys? Any bit of positive feedback for you guys? They were actually able to purchase something within their menu that wasn't a stock item. That wasn't something that has been here for eight freaking years. And they were able to use those resources that they worked so hard to get. Do you know how hard it is to play the contest of mayors competitively? Have you guys ever actually tried doing it? Because from what I see, you haven't. You have people like Smith that don't play, that don't play the contest of mayors competitively. And when they do play the contest of mayors, they play like absolute jackasses. Do you know what it takes for somebody to play the contest of mayors competitively? I'll tell you. It takes full time. Full time, 24-7, setting alarms, checking assignments, paying the cash, busting your butt, picking the assignments properly. It takes a lot of hard work to win. And it, now it is impossible if you have a hacker in your leaderboard, all that hard work is absolutely wasted. And people are quitting. They're done. They're absolutely done. And you know why? Because they have to look at what they're working for. They're working to buy the same crap that they've been buying for eight years. What can we buy with the items that we're getting? The gold keys, the platinum keys, the cash. What can we buy with that? Nothing new. Just the same shit you've been giving us for eight years. What? You give us some crap-ass trees and some, some flowers that you call flowers that look like a, a graphic glitch? They, they don't even look like flowers. I don't know why you even call them flowers. I mean, the flowers in Minecraft look more real. It's absolutely ridiculous. Spit to the face, really, is what it is. And you guys just keep making the game worse. 
it's really not that hard to understand what are positive changes and what are negative changes. When you add things like the canisters assignment, you're not out to make it more enjoyable for the players. You're out to make it more annoying for the players so that they'll pay you money to not be annoyed. So that they'll pay the Sims cash to open the canisters for their assignment so they get those points. That's a bad business move. Because here's the thing. Black Friday just ended. There's no pass this week, right? What, what reason exactly do people have to bust their butt anymore and work for all this stuff? The people on my building guide, they filled their maps 10 times over again with all the stuff they needed and they still have stuff left. They still have resources left they couldn't spend. And you know what those resources are to them now? Useless. Unless you put out new stuff, they're useless. Why would they work to earn more resources they can't do anything with in a competitive setting where it is not fair? Where people are hacked? Not very smart, huh? You're losing all your players. You, you know, here's what you guys should do. And you may not like me, and that's okay. But I am right about this, okay? Take it from somebody who has actually played your game for eight years and extensively studied the people that play it, you guys, the game in itself, all of it. Just take it from somebody who actually plays. You want people to like your game? This is what you do. First, you fix the chat button, okay? Because that's bullshit. Making people only be in their capital to see what people are requesting or traveling to group members, that's ridiculous. You, you can't expect people to be, in, you know, intrigued or enjoy your game when they can't even travel to people's cities properly. When you have technical difficulties, put an alert out to everybody and let them know that you're working on it. And better yet, how about you guys actually credit people when you screw up? Like, hey, I don't know, if our friends list is down for two months like it was last time... How about you guys send people a little bit of cash to make up for it? Maybe nothing super fancy, but at least something, right? Do you think it's going to kill you? It's an in-game currency. It comes back to you. It's not costing you anything to make an effort. In fact, it would actually do you better because people would be like, wow, these people actually kind of care about their players. They'll make it right. So I would like to invest into this game because I know that if something goes wrong, then they're going to fix it, they're going to inform us, they're going to credit us, right? You guys don't do that, though. You guys just ignore people, you ban legit cities, you don't credit anybody anything, and you just, you do a piss-poor job, really, of all of it. Okay, another thing. Aside from the chat, because that's a big one. That really needs fixed. Like, that should have been fixed already. It should have never happened. Is the contest of mayors. Fix it. Get rid of the milestones. Get rid of the streaks. Go back to the old way of things. Make it to where hackers can't dominate the leaderboard, and you just have a list. That would be the best way to go about it. Okay? Epic projects. Put some new styles out, please. Seriously? And I'm not saying new categories. I'm saying... Just the styles, the categories you already have, add some new styles. Even one style to each one would be something new. Anything new. And you know what? People will be like, I don't have that one. I'm going to try for it. They'll, they'll build their epics. They'll do more epics because of it. Which means they'll play more, right? They'll donate more. It'll cost them more. But at least they're getting something positive from it. The categories. Transportation. Education. Gambling. All the categories, really. Add some new buildings that can be purchased. When the holidays come up, put up some buildings that are not in circulation for eight years. Okay? Because here's the thing. We have no reason to work for platinum keys or cash or anything. There's nothing new for us to buy. We're bored. We're sick of looking at the same crap. If the only new stuff we get is from the contest of mayors... That's not incentive enough to play. I mean, that's enough to play non not competitively and just do for the pass. But when you hate an entire pass, that means you just take two months off. Like, come on. 45 days, whatever it is. 
So if you want to keep people intrigued, bring out some new events. Yeah? Bring out some new buildings. Make the interface better. New styles of houses. Put your energy into something positive, right? Okay, the war players. There's a lot of people who play this game for the war alone. When was the last time we had a war update? Anything. Anything at all besides the stupid BU pass. was. That was just a way for you guys to make money. That's all that was. That wasn't for the people. That was for you. Just like every update you guys do. It's for you guys to make more money. Fix it. Do something better with war. New war cards. There you go. There's something for people to work towards, spend keys on, spend cash on, whatever. Something for them to do. What else? Well, you could, I don't know, again, fix the hacking problem with war. Really crack down on the hackers, because that's some BS. And let's see. You could probably change the background of the war screen by now, because we're all sick of kind of looking at it. Um, you could make it to where you could do different boosters, maybe double attacks. I don't know. There's all kinds of things that you guys could think of to do. All kinds of stuff. You could introduce, uh, you know, groups like community groups for war. Like, because, for example, a lot of people, they have an entire community of groups. So they kind of switch players out. Like, okay, they've got like 10 groups for people. And they all just bounce around. You could make it to where they have a community. They just add it all into the same community. It's like a file they click on. And it just shows all the groups that belong to that clan kind of thing. Right? You could also increase the numbers of people that belong to a group. Maybe to 30 or 35. Because 25 is a bit low, I think. You could change the interface on how we chat. You could give us a profile. You could make a private messaging system. There's all kinds of things that you guys could do that are not even hard to do. They're not. They're not hard to do at all. Other gaming companies do it all the time. And you guys are failing miserably. We can't even see the chat button when we leave our city. How absolutely ridiculous is that? It's 2022. And we can't even see the damn chat button when we leave our city. We can't even click on the members list and just travel to any member's city from anywhere which is what we should be able to do. We shouldn't have to travel all the way back to our capital map just to see a member's city. We shouldn't. That's ridiculous. It's a waste of time, especially when you spend half your time on the loading screen anyways. Now you're out there shopping on global because that's all you can do on this stupid game because you guys can't find anything you need on the global market, so you spend hours out there on it. And now you can't even see if anybody needs anything in your group while you're out there because you can't see the fucking chat button. How ridiculous is that? I mean, come on. If the goal is to make this this game fail miserably, you guys are succeeding. And like I said, I know you don't like me, but I'm right. I am right. Trust me on that. If you would listen to me and take anything that I've said, even just one of the 20 million things I've told you guys to do, just one, and actually do it right, I'm telling you guys, you would start seeing positive feedback. Positive, not negative, positive. Everything that you have done, you've gotten negative feedback on. On your Facebook page, on your Twitter page, no one is congratulating you guys. No one is saying, thanks guys, we appreciate that. Every single update, every single time you screw with something, you get negative feedback. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? Because you're pissing people off. And... You're losing a lot of people. I mean, think about how many people have multiple cities, multiple feeders. How many people do you actually think are playing the game versus one person has like 10 cities? And why do you think they have so many cities? Why do you think that is? You think it's because they enjoy playing your game so much that they just, they can't get enough on one city, they have to make another? No, it's because they are stuck and because they are miserable, and because they need backup storage, and they need to be able to move things around. That is why they have multiple cities, and not because they're enjoying themselves so much. You're losing a lot of people. And quite frankly, if you don't start adding new stuff to the stock menu, there's not going to be anything for any, anybody to, to work for. I mean, there's nothing to work for. There's nothing. 
Once you buy the few epic pointers and pop boosters, you have nothing to work for. And when people play my way, they kick ass. So within six months, they can basically beat the game in a sense. That's it. They got nothing to go for. Now, that ain't my fault. That's y'all's fault. All I did was tell them how to play good. You guys need to keep them intrigued.